Okay, hey YouTube. So, as per the usual, um, it's been a little while since my last video. But this video is actually timed for the 18 month birthday of my vagina. And so, as with every video when I talk about my vagina, I have some lubricant here. Um, yeah, that's awkward. Um, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, the um, the nice things about having a one and a half year old is um, that you get to make some completely inappropriate jokes about it, uh, but that um, you don't have to dilate anywhere near as often. So at you know a year, you're supposed to be able to drop down to a less frequent dilation schedule. Um, Doctor McGinn actually wanted me to continue daily for a little bit longer uh, because it was um, just a little bit too tight so <laughs> um, I continued with daily for probably another couple of months and it starts to wear on you um, get tiring and then eventually I started traveling a little bit more and um, things started to kind of not happen as frequently but the great thing is that as it gets a little bit older, um, it can stay out on its own a little bit longer. Um, I don't know how long I can keep up this analogy. But um, yes, so basically it's not as bad uh, going longer in between sessions as it is earlier on in the beginning. But beyond just um, not having to dilate as frequently, so maybe I do it twice a week now. Um, it means that I can now travel on long weekends or overnight trips, whatever, without having to bring them with me, without having to worry, am I going to be able to schedule in a session and things like that, and um, am I going to get awkward looks from TSA or get them pulled out of my bag? <laughs> things like that. Like You don't have to deal with that on shorter trips now, at least, which is nice. Um, and then when you do actually get around to dilating and, you know, checking for depth of the mirror, things like that, um, it looks, um, you know, kind of uh, normal. It looks <laughs> like a vagina. I think because you spend so much time, or I spent so much time, just kind of, um, you know, looking at it while you dilate so often that you start to scrutinize it and um, nitpick at it and things like that. And obviously now going, you know, several days in between dilation sessions sometimes, it, um, it looks normal. It looks like a vagina. It, um, you know, it can take a little, little bit of time to get to depth or whatever if it's been several days, but it kind of, um, just uh, <laughs> kind of works okay now, so it's um, not as much of a chore. Uh, it's actually kind of when I get my TV watching in now during the week, because um, it's summer and the shows are not as few. Anyway, I think um, the point is that it's um, nice to kind of have things start to normalize a little bit and be able to go out late and um, see the 11.30 showing of the new Jurassic Park movie, which was awesome, um, and not have to worry about coming home and then dilating or having dilated beforehand or whatever, and um, things like that. Like, you even maybe start to forget what it was like to some extent pre-op, because um, I really, really had to pee <laughs> towards the end of the movie and was like, shit, I cannot just, like, hold this or draw to squeeze things or <laughs> whatever um I don't know it's uh it's pretty late now um and I should probably finish this and go to bed but you know happy birthday to <laughs> me I guess definitely. whatever